What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Darium's Competitive Pokemon, back playing some games on PTCGO. I got a couple new decks for you all. Gonna be showing off Zork, Lycanroc. This is a deck that has been uh, played recently by some top tier players at League Cups, things like that. So heading into Memphis Regional Championships, just wanna make sure that everyone is aware of this deck. It's kind of exactly like towards uh, International Championship winning Galissapod Zorark deck, actually the, the structure of it, if you really look at the deck list, and I'm gonna be showing off the deck list at the end of the video. Uh, if you look at the deck, it's very similar to that Galissapod Garbodor deck, or Galissapod um, Zorark deck, excuse me, that did so well at the European International Championships, except you replace the Galissapods with a Lycanroc GX. I think Lycanroc GX is just very good. Obviously, it gives Zorark a lot of, uh, it gives it a lot of aggressive pressure since you are able to bring somebody on your opponent's side of the field up at the same time that you play in the other supporters. So I'm going to start off with an N here, kind of a bum hand. This deck plays a lot of Bridget and a lot of Lele, so a little bit of a shame that we had to start off like that, but oh well. Uh, then I think what I'm going to do, I know there is only one copy of Floatstone in this deck. I could Ultra Ball away the fighting and the N, or I could just set up a Zork here. Um, Ultra Ball away. Uh, let's see, both fightings. That seems a little bad too. We do play puzzles at times. This is just such an awkward hand. Uh, I could just pass, you know what I mean? I could have just passed in the next turn gone for the Lele Bridget. Maybe that would have been a little bit better, but uh, at this point I'm kind of committed. So I think I'm gonna Ultra Ball away the Zork and a Fighting Energy. And then I am going to grab a Rock Ruff here. And at least then I can get an energy attachment down on the Rock Ruff. This is a little bit of a tough matchup for me just because the Galissapods do hit your Lycan Rocks for weakness. And that's tough. Uh, and then also your Zoroark's, you know, hits get glanced off very easily by this deck. Uh, since this deck does play a good amount of Acerola, I'm pretty sure this is towards list so they are going to be able to you know heal their guys uh it's just tough like they have one shot potential on you because they can knock out your lycan rocks but you don't really have a lot of one shot potential on them so uh it is a little bit of a difficult matchup but it's definitely you know navigatable like it's fine if you can eliminate the galissapods from their arsenal then your lycan rock could just roll through their whole team and that's kind of going to be the strategy here so it might have been like seemed like a little odd then I went ahead and put a fighting on the Rock Ruff, but that's a great option to have because if I could just bring out my own Zorark GXs and knock out Wimpods and things like that, then I could come in with a Lycan Rock, Dangerous Rogue, and then just go and Claw Slash for the rest of the game until I win. Uh, you can see that my opponent did go ahead and get two Wimpods out. Obviously, a good play on my opponent's part because they know that I'm playing Lycan Rock. They're going to want to have some Wimpods in play. That was a really good end for me. Uh, I don't mind this at all. Two Zeruas. Uh, I don't think that I necessarily need to play this DCE down yet. I think, in fact, that probably seems like a little foolish. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and pass. Um, my opponent could easily get, you know, DC Guzma and knock something out. It would be a shame if they knocked out my Rock Ruff, but at the end of the day, that is just a one prize attacker. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. I do have a Lele here for next turn. And I am definitely starting off on the back foot here. My opponent does have the one Galissapod, and that is going to be tough for me to take out. Uh, I may end up having to kind of throw down here on a little bit of a gamble. If they do get a grass on this Galissapod or something, I can respond to it with my own uh, Lycan Rock GX. So that is really the only way that I have any one-shot potential in this deck is that if I use that Dangerous Rogue GX, their bench is full. Uh, so that's really good for me. And I know that Towards List is not actually playing a lot of copies of Grass Energy. So it could actually be a little difficult for them to find the second Galissapod as well as, um, it could be difficult for them to find the second Galissapod as well as a Grass Energy here. Um, this is a little bit of an awkward hand. I think I just ended away, but it does feel a little foolish just to give my opponent such a strong, you know, uh, another hand refresher. You know, I end them last turn, but I don't really think that there's another way out of this. So let's go ahead. Yep, we're going to grab something here. I can't grab the Guzma or the Bridget. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I think I just have to go for, is there no more ends in the deck? 
Oh my goodness. How many do I have in the discard pile? That is insane. Just two. Okay. That's fine. So your price two in. That hurts a little bit. I think I am then just going to have to go for Sycamore here. Be a little wasteful, but that's fine. I can throw the double colorless energy onto a Zerua and maybe I hit a, an Ultra Ball and I can do stand in there. That would be fine. I can't Ace Rolla the Lele. That doesn't really make any sense because I don't have any attackers here. So I need to set up. So let's just go ahead, do the Sycamore. And I did get the stand in Zor Zork. That's good. So I can take a knockout on this Tapu Koko. Uh, I do like that. I wish that I had gotten uh, an Ultra Ball. If I had gotten an Ultra Ball, I could just take out that Galissapod right now. But this is fine. We're just going to... Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and just trade this knockout here and yeah don't show that just installed this because it went through maintenance so I had to reinstall so it's giving me all those annoying little prompts there but that's fine we're gonna mind jack for knockout and take our prize uh, I do got a Zorark here so that's good hopefully I can start to draw out of this suboptimal hand that I'm looking at now as long uh, I do love having the rock rough on the bench I mean Lycan rock is just so good uh, just going in so quickly for that dangerous rogue can really come out of nowhere, especially since, you know, not only does that one hit knockout come out of nowhere, but then also I can choose anything on my opponent's side of the field as soon as I put that, uh, Lycan Rock down for that bloodthirsty eyes. So that's so good. Uh, so powerful, so aggressive. I think a lot of players are seeing just the power of having Lycan Rock in your deck. And I really do like having Lycan Rock. Uh, as an option paired with Zorark GX because you get to draw cards and then you get to target down things on your opponent's bench. It's just a powerful combination. This stand-in Zorark here is very good uh, just for taking big knockouts. It could be very aggressive. You have two cards in this list, both the stand-in Zorark and, uh, the, and that Dangerous Rogue GX, both that count cards on your opponent's side of the field, which can be just very good. Uh, because, you know, people are using Bridget turn one and filling their bench. This is just something that's happening with almost every single deck. So cards that take advantage of the opponent's bench sides are just really good right now. You can see I've got two Tapu Lele down here. My opponent's got one. Uh, almost every deck is just jamming their bench chock full, uh, especially Zorark GX decks, because Zorark decks need to fill their bench in order to do damage. So uh, both Mindjack, Zorark, and the Lycanroc GX are really good good in that regard too um all right let's see what we got going on here i think that i'm going to want to bring up that galissapod and knock it out here we are going to have to find ourselves an energy i don't really see um I, let's see do i have a third lele i oh i have an energy so that's great uh now i could just go in and not use my gx attack um but i do want to knock out that galissapod outright um, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Let's bring up, yes, I would like to bring up the Galissapod, and we are just going to knock that thing out. I'm also going to Ultra Ball away. Uh, I don't think I actually set up the Zorak GX yet. Maybe I do, just in case I get end, but none of these really feel like great options to Ultra Ball away. This list is only playing two Guzma right now, and I don't want to trade away this puzzle, but I think that I will... Ultra Ball. Let's see. If I have a Lele, I'll go for N. And I don't have the Lele. So let's just get the Galissapa or get the Zorark out. Uh, and then we're just going to evolve it just so that we have that stability on board. Hopefully, my opponent cannot respond. And let's just Dangerous Rogue GX. Yep. And hopefully, my opponent cannot respond with a backup Galissapa. That's really what we got to hope for. I mean, they probably will be able to, but I kind of had to take that gambit here somewhere. I didn't really have anything else built up. My opponent's setting up their deck very well. I just have to hope that they can't find grass in the second Galissapod. Uh, but they do have, what, one Zorak, two Zorak GX in play. Like, they got a lot of draw. They got a pretty big hand. You know, I would wager that they could probably find it. Oh, they traded a grass away, meaning they already got a grass in their hand. Uh, they are just looking for an Ultra Ball or a Rescue Stretcher or two puzzles, something to bring that Galissapod GX into play so that they can knock out this Lycanroc. If they can't get the knockout on this Lycanroc, 
That is going to be home free for me. I mean, then I am going to be in good shape. Looks like they got the Galissapod. They drew it. So they are going to be able to attach that. I'm assuming they have a second grass in hand uh, or else that would have been maybe a little bit of an irresponsible play on my opponent's part. And I am going to be scrambling here. This is going to be tough for me to respond to uh, just because of the way my board is set up compared to how my opponent's board is set up. Like this is really bad. We are going to go to tie and prizes, but my opponent just has a lot more attackers set up than I do, which is just no good at all. I am going to get to end my opponent, but with that many Zorak GX out, it doesn't really matter. I am going to need to try and set up. Um, let's see, we got a Buzzwool. That's not bad. Okay, that's good. Then I am going to, uh, let's see, I could Lele for a Sycamore here. Uh, or I could try to limit my opponent's hand size. Probably want to limit my opponent as much as possible. We got an enhanced hammer and a rescue stretcher here. This is tough. Let's see. We could rescue stretcher the rock rough back and trade one time. Um, that seems a little sketchy. I could rescue stretcher a Zerua back and trade one time. Um, I think I need to trade away this enhanced hammer for sure. And let's see what we get off of this. We got two strong energy. That's pretty good. I can put one of those on the Buzzwool. And now I'm just hoping that this Zoroark does just not get knocked out next turn. We definitely need it to last a little bit longer here. I think I do want to rescue Stretcher and put a Pokemon from a discard pile into my hand. I do want to get probably the Zerua here just to get that set up. And... Then I will pass. Now, ending there is a little bit of an interesting option. I think I kind of had to take a gamble there on the end. I could have used my Lele and gone for Sycamore, um, or maybe I could have gone for Mallow or something to guarantee uh, a double colorless energy, but my opponent just seemed to have like unlimited resources, more or less, in their hand and really would have been able to access anything in their deck at that point with that big of a hand and three Zorark out. So I wanted to limit them. That was just the decision I made. In hindsight, you know, maybe I could have mallowed for, you know, Lele for Mallow, and maybe I could have mallowed for like a Pokemon and a, and a D DCE, something like that. Or I could have mallowed for a couple of puzzles, but I wanted to try and at least limit my opponent to see you know, but hey, it looks like they got a Tapu Lele, so they're going to be just fine anyway. And, uh, you know, they're probably going to be able to continue to roll through my deck here. So uh, I need to get something set up. You know, I need to take a knockout with this Buzzwool or something like that. Or this is going to just be a little bit of a bad time. I have found this matchup to be a little bit sketchy uh, just because your Zork, or not your Zork, your. Um, your, I mean, everything that you play has a counter. I mean, they got the Mewtwo for your Buzzwool. They've got uh, Galissapod for your Lycanroc. And yes, you got Lycanroc to take out their Zoroarks, but if they could just keep your Lycanrocs out of play with Galissapod, then they are going to be just fine. So uh, hopefully, let's see, my opponent, they can't do, you know, if they do 180, that's still short of a knockout on the Zorark here. So we're fine. Uh, maybe next turn I could do like the Puzzle of Time, then trade just to dig a third card deep to see if I could get something like a Guzma maybe um, or something like that. But, uh, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a tough one here to try and pull this out. Not sure if I'll be able to swing it. I'm just looking for a route. Oh, man, they're getting Enhanced Hammer back. I mean, that's pretty much the nail in the coffin right there. Uh, I needed to be able to build up this Buzzwool at the very least. So that is pretty rough. Maybe if next turn, if I get a Puzzle of Time, I can Ace Arola, uh, the Zoroark up, bring the Buzzwool out, and then just, you know, Jet Punch or something like that, which could be okay. Um, but this is just looking pretty bad. Especially if they cross and cut GX, I mean, that is maybe a little bit of a waste of a GX attack. They're only doing 180. Um, no, so they're just going to go for the Armor Press here, just the consistent. They just want the two shots, so that's pretty good. We do got our Lele back, so that is excellent. I'm probably just going to end up blowing another puzzle here in order to get moving. Um, let's see, because I could just Lele for the Sycamore. Uh, I could Lele for a Guzma, trade the puzzle, and Guzma up a Zorark or something, hit into it. 
and you know maybe snipe the Galissapod or something like that. Uh, this Galissapod is just pretty treacherous right now. It's looking pretty rough. Uh, if I could get my Stand-In Zoroark back, that would be good though. Uh, I would be able to do quite a bit of damage with that. But the Stand-In Zoroark, let's see. Maybe I could finish the game with that. So let's just attach, let's see, let's go here. We're going to, yep, we're gonna search our deck for a supporter. And we want to get, I could Mallow and I could stack a couple cards on top of my deck. Uh, I could stack maybe a puzzle. I only have one puzzle in deck. Gosh, that's rough. Um, so I could get puzzle and then what? I could puzzle for... That just doesn't seem very good. Let's see. I want that Zork back. And I only have one puzzle in deck. I can't... And I could Kukui. Uh, I could Mallow. I could Guzma. Let's just go for the... Guzma, I guess. This just seems so bad. I mean, there's not really a lot I can do here. Jeez. Okay. Just prizing so many ends was so rough. Uh, and now, you know, I'm not having access to that end right now. Um, I can't really afford to, you know, let this puzzle rip, you know, quite yet because I only got one. So uh, I think I am going to wait a turn on that. And then let's just jet punch. And we'll do a little bit more damage to the Galissapod. And that way, you know, maybe I can use Stand-In Zorark to knock out the Galissapod eventually. That's an option for me. Um, they do have Guzma on my Zorark, though. So rip to me. That is just bad news. Uh, that is tough. My opponent's only going to have one prize left to take. I need to find a way to evolve this Zerua. You know, I pretty much need to top deck my other puzzle right now. Uh, you know, if I top, even if I Sycamore, like I can't Sycamore, I could top deck a Kakui or something, but I can't Sycamore because I just need resources back with this puzzle of time. And I do have Kakui. Okay, so let's play it. Let's see what we get. And <laughs> we got the other puzzle. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, so how much damage am I doing? I mean, no, I can't. Let's see here. We do want to evolve this Zerua here. So let's do that. Let's put two cards from my discard pile. Let's get the Zorark GX. Uh, we can't go with the standing Zorark just because that thing will get knocked out. And let's get ourselves like a choice ban or something. You know, maybe just maximize our damage. We could get a float stone back. We could get a second strong energy back. Let's, sure, let's do that. Let's see. Um, or we can get an end back. Let's get the second strong energy, sure. Let's just get those things, and then we'll evolve here, and let's go ahead and trade, and we're going to trade the Bridget. This is fine. Got a Mewtwo and another Kukui. All right, fine. Let's just go ahead, and we're just going to Jet Punch, and we'll put 30 more damage onto that Zorark over there. So, you know, that's a about, I mean, this is not going to work out well for me, I don't think. I mean, my opponent's just going to be able to armor press me, put some pressure on. Oh, or they just got game here, so that's fine. We did our best. That's a little bit of a tough matchup. I got off to just a rocky start there, uh, and this is still a deck that I'm learning. So we're going to roll some more games with Zorark, like and Rock here. Uh, hopefully you guys can kind of see me improve my playing of the deck and my navigating of the deck and the matchups as I get my hands on it. But you're literally seeing this is like my first game with the deck. So I'm still trying to learn how to navigate it to the best of my ability. I literally just got, you know, my third and fourth Zorark GX on PTCGO today. So, you know, this is all pretty exciting for me. And just, you know, you guys are kind of getting to see me work these, you know, things out here in real time uh, on YouTube. So, Hopefully you guys enjoyed that matchup. Got to see a little bit of something new players are playing. This is Ryan Sablehouse's list that he had just used recently to win a League Cup. If you want to give the deck a try for yourself, I'm not sure that I like it more than just the straight Buzzwool Lycanroc variant. But, you know, it is strong. It does have some options. Nonetheless, it is pretty cool to play. So thank you all for checking out the video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Peace.